Hello guys, welcome back to another Python tutorial, and today we're going to be making our first program. Uh, now, the first thing you need to do when you're making a program is how to make a file. Now, we're going to go up here, File, and New File, and Control n is just a hotkey for it. Um, I believe in Python you'll get this at the beginning of every session. Um, it's a temporary script file, it's like a temporary file. Um, but it's good to start a new file so you can have it permanently, not temporarily. Now, what we're going to be doing first is we're going to be creating a uh, print statement. So, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Python. Now, it's an object-oriented programming language, which means that it uses objects very easily. Um, now, what we're going to be doing, we're not going to be using objects just yet, but they will come in very soon. Now, as you can see, the name right here is called Untitled Zero. Now, that's not a very good name, so we're going to click Save As, like I just did right there. Um, we're going to save it to wherever. I'm going to save it to one of these places, and I'm going to name it. So, I'm just going to name it Hello World. It's a good name. Um, now, I'm going to just put a 1 next to it, or a 0, or a 1, just because if I want to make something named Hello World again, uh, then, you know, I, I won't be able to save over this one, because this one, you know, great program right here, I wouldn't want to lose it. Um, now, this is the first statement we're going to be using. Um, it's called a print statement. Uh, this is a syntax for it. Now, syntax is basically just how you write something, and if you write something differently, um, it might work, it might not, I don't really know, but usually it doesn't. Yeah, you can see that right there, it says invalid syntax. Now, that's because you didn't put the parentheses there. Um, and syntax is very important. If you're missing syntax somewhere, it could mess up your entire code. In some programming languages, it has you put a semicolon at the end of everything. Uh, and if you miss a semicolon somewhere, then, and you have to go looking through it, that, that's a syntax error. You won't want to go through your code looking for one little semicolon and one little parentheses. So you want to get everything right. So the print statement takes a string as its input. So a string can be really anything, but it has to be in parentheses. Um, it can be one, two, four, a bunch of T's just really anything. Um, now what we're going to do here is we're going to write hello world, world, world. Um, so we just wrote hello world in there. And this right here, and that's one string. It might be two words, but it's one string. Um, it doesn't matter if you put a period there and start typing more, it's still going to be one string. Now, there's going to be a little bit of a change if you do something like that because then you've created a new set of parentheses and now this hello is inside the string um, so that's why we can't do you know if you're saying something like Dwayne the Rock Johnson if we try to make a string that says Dwayne the Rock Johnson you see, you can't, you can't do that because the parentheses are there. So, a way we can get around this, if you want to put parentheses in your, no, if you want to put uh, quotes in your strings, is you can put single, single quotation marks. So now we can do Dwayne, The Rock, Johnson, without getting a syntax error. But um, what I usually like to do, because the single quotation marks are used for different things, um, is just use regular quotation marks and not use quotations in my code. Now we're going to write back hello world. And now in order to run your code, you click this green run file up here. It also has a hotkey called F5, or I can click run and run. And look over here, it says hello world. Now that's just one of the things we can type, we can type literally whatever you want. Now if it says something if it says something like run a new Python console, um, just click next and it'll be perfectly fine. 
thanks for watching this video. We've learned about print statements so far and how to run our IDE. Um, in the next couple of videos, we're going to learn about user input, which is a very, very useful part of Python. And we're also going to learn about variables, which is also a very, very useful part of any programming language. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.